Morning everybody, very good to see you and welcome to the second Highways UK uh, conference. First of course as you will recall was last year. Those of you who were there I think will have enjoyed uh, the two days. It was a really welcome event and I think a lot of us learned a lot which it particularly was important in a year in which uh, Highways England of course had just begun to embark on its own uh, very very significant work. Um, in this second year, you'll see we've got two very full days, we've got two halls. Uh, most of what you see is free, and given that you're all obviously as wealthy as Croesus, I'm sure if you want to go and see the paid stuff, you can uh, happily do that as well. Um, my name's Steve Norris, I'm co-chair of the advisory board of uh, uh, Highways UK, uh, a former Minister for Transport, although I don't tell people that unless absolutely necessary. Um, nonetheless, a huge pleasure to see how the industry has been growing and developing over the last uh, uh, couple of years, and particularly to see the work that's now being done by people like David Quarmby and, uh, uh, and his uh, colleagues in terms of uh, managing the uh, major roads network. That seems to me to be a great step forward. Now, we're here in Birmingham at the NEC. It's a great venue, as you know, and um, I stayed last night at the Genting Hotel uh, just here on site. It's absolutely magnificent, so great credit to Birmingham for the progress that they've made in recent years, and a real pleasure to introduce uh, the leader of Birmingham City Council, Councillor John Clancy, to say a few words to us. John. Thanks very much, uh, Stephen. Uh, Welcome to Birmingham. Welcome uh, to, to Highways UK. Uh, I'd like to first of all congratulate you on a wise choice of venue for this major event. Uh, I think you've come to the right place. Uh, and our city region quite clearly is at the very heart of the UK's road network and I'd argue that we're at the centre of the world. Uh, but I suppose you would expect that from the leader of Birmingham City Council. Uh, but one thing uh, I know for sure is that uh, especially uh, post-Brexit, the city region could and indeed should be the engine room for the UK economy. Uh, Greater Birmingham itself, as combined authority, the biggest, uh, is on the up and we're experiencing an exciting period of regeneration and development. Now last year uh, over 20,000 new businesses were started here. Uh, we're ranked the top UK region for quality of life uh, and in 2015-16 we attracted 81 new FDI projects. Uh, and last year, the West Midlands region exported £29 billion pounds worth of goods, uh, more than any UK region outside London and the South East. And uh, we are indeed the, uh, the mother of enterprise. Uh, in fact, we are, I think I say that we are the mother of invention and the father of enterprise. Uh, and we were uh, crowned this year uh, UK's most enterprising city. Uh, we are. To be frank, we always have been, but it's nice to occasionally for people to actually uh, give us those little, little crowns and tiaras, shall I say. I mean, most of my daily focus is on how we build on those positive statistics. But I know full well that politicians alone can't deliver the inclusive growth that this region needs. Our success will be a team effort. It will be a common endeavour. And actually, as I look around this room, this place... Uh, I see a sector that can play a big role in helping us achieve our collective goals. And it's obvious to me that connectivity will be crucial to our future prosperity. And if we can get Birmingham moving, we can get the UK economy moving as well. And those of you who travelled here uh, via the M6 today uh, will know about be aware we do face challenges. Uh, I was a little late this morning myself. Uh, I blame Solihull Council for that. Um, but I, and, and, and Bob Slay from Solihull tends to do it the other way around when he comes, comes to Birmingham. Uh, now, obviously a study by our regional chambers of commerce found that road congestion costs uh, the West Midlands, businesses, West Midlands businesses around about £2 billion a year. And that's clearly a major problem. And a problem that if it does go unchecked will hold back our city region and, to be frank, hold, hold back the UK economy. So we need creative solutions and we need people in this sector to help us find innovative ways to tackle the challenges faced here in the West Midlands 
uh, and I'm sure you'll be discussing those challenges over the next two days. Uh, and uh, obviously this is a speech of welcome, so I'm not here with a list of demands uh, for, to you. But I'll suggest one area for discussion, and that is the M6 toll. Uh, it's currently up for sale. Uh, I don't know whether any of you can find me a spare two billion, uh, but I'm not actually planning to buy it unless you can. Uh, but surely we can reach a sensible agreement uh, with whoever does eventually buy the toll road that we can find a local solution to our congestion problems. And as things stand, we've 27 miles of six-lane motorway that remain largely underused, even at times when the rest of our motorway network is at a standstill. The M6 toll has never fulfilled the primary aim of significantly, significantly reducing congestion on our region's roads and indeed helping air quality in our city, and I can't be alone in seeing that as a missed opportunity. This has always been a motor city. And even in 2026, when we become a high-speed rail connected city, a high-speed rail destination, but also in the heart of a wider high-speed network, as we found out yesterday, we will continue to play a huge part in the prosperity, uh, our road network uh, will continue to play a huge part in the prosperity of this region. That's why we want to work with Highways UK and other transport partners in the region to improve connectivity reduce congestion and increase safety at the crossroads of the UK. As I said earlier, if we can get Birmingham moving, we can get the UK economy moving. Thank you very much for, for being here. I hope you have a great two days. Thank you very much indeed.